In this video, we will be studying about the monopoly. In the previous video, we have covered the perfect competition, which was the detailed description about the perfect competition market in your syllabus. So, we have covered the perfect competition in detail. Now, we will be covering the other forms of market that is monopoly, monopolistic and oligopoly in your coming videos. So, in this video, we will be studying about the monopoly and its features. See, monopoly is a market where there is a single seller and large number of buyers with no close substitute substitute of a product in the market so we can take here the example of Indian Railways say see no private you know company can run the the railways on the track only the indian government plays a monopoly in this case only the railways in india are a monopoly industry of the government of india so it is the you know the wish of the government what they want to charge for the ticket of the indian railways since there is only one producer of a product in the market, the distinction between the firm and industry disappears. Right? So, this is the monopoly. There is only a single seller. There is large number of buyers with no close substitutes. Let's understand the features of monopoly. See, number one is that you can find it from the definition itself. One seller and large number of buyers. Under monopoly, there is a single producer of a commodity. He may be alone or there may, may be a group of partners or a joint stock company or a state. However, there is large number of buyers of the product. Let's take the example of Indian Railways again. Indian Railways are the only one those who are running rails on the track in India. And we all use the Indian Railways and there are, see how many large number of buyers are there and there is only one seller in the market. So this is the example, perfect example of monopoly. The second we have is restrictions. On the entry of new firm right. under monopoly there are some restrictions on the entry of the new firms into the monopoly industry see nobody can come up and you know set up their railway track and get their uh, rails running on the track only the Indian government can do so so there are restrictions on the entry of the firm the firm cannot uh, enter itself into the market. It needs a long procedure to get entry into the market. Third one is no close substitutes. So there is no close substitute to the Indian railways. The rails do not have the substitutes of itself. See, on roadways you can have the substitute like the buses. Airways you have the substitute. But rails and rails, you do not have the substitute. If the Indian government is running the rails, there is no XYZ person who is running the rails on the track. So there is no close substitute of a railways. The fourth one we have is full control over the prices.
See, it's the wish of the monopoly, a seller, what prices he wants to sell the product. Right, so it is the wish of the Indian Railways whenever they want to increase the fare, they do increase the fare. They want to increase the fare of first AC, they do. If they want to increase the fare of second AC, they do. So these are the, they are the monopoly in the market. They can ask for any price they want in the market. The fifth one we have is price discrimination. price discrimination and this is the most important feature that can be asked individually also in your CBSC board exam. Now price discrimination. A monopolistic may charge different price from different buyers. It is called the price discrimination. So what is price discrimination? It refers to the practice. by a seller of charging different prices from different buyers for the same good. See, this happens in your Indian Railways as well. If you are SC or ST, you have to pay for, let's say, that this is the first tire, tire AC. You got to pay some other price. If you are OBC, you need to pay some other price. If you are journal, you have to pay some other price. So they are doing the price discrimination from for the same good from the different buyers. Let's say you have to pay 4,000. Obviously you need to pay 3,000. SES you need to pay 1,000 only rupees. So this is the price discrimination under the monopoly. I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.